Alright guys, so just give you a little bit of background on this video before we get into it. I recorded this uh, two days ago when I was having a lot of tachycardia. Uh, I had three, in fact, in a row. First one lasted for 45 minutes, second one lasted for 15 minutes, and the last one lasted for about 12 minutes. So what started this? I'm not too sure. I, I don't know if it's sleep apnea or just part of my heart condition, but I've had tachycardias for the last 28 years of my life. I've dealt with them. Uh, I have a pacemaker, but unfortunately, the battery died. Uh, it malfunctioned. It was one of the Medtronics that malfunctioned several years ago. I opted not to replace, and what I decided to do was manage tachycardias on my own. Now, I got real sick last year around the time of COVID, and I believe I got COVID. It was it was an awful, awful uh, illness I had. It took me about eight weeks to recover. I was hospitalized twice. It was horrible. Anyways, after that illness, which again, I believe was COVID, my tachycardia has changed. Now, previous to this, for the 27 years prior to that, I was able to manage my tachycardia by doing vagal maneuvers, valsalvis. And what I would do is I would take in a breath of air, put pressure on my heart right here, just put the air down here, put pressure on my heart, bend over, and it would take me out of the tachycardia all the time, all the time, all the time, until I got ill, until I got that COVID illness in February of 2020. And what happened then is I started uh, having tachycardias that I couldn't get out of. And unfortunately, last February 26, I had to be adenosined because I was having a tachycardia that was clocking uh, 199 when I got to the hospital. It was awful, awful, awful feeling. And they had to put adenosine in. And for anybody that's had tachycardias, you know adenosine sucks. It's horrible. <laughs> it's really terrible. So when I came back home and started to recover from that awful illness that I had, I still had some tachycardias that I was unable to get out of. And that's what happened two days ago. I had a tachycardia. I couldn't get out of it. And there's a trick that I found uh, around the time of last February, which was a little boy, uh, you know, was having a tachycardia. We found, I found it up on YouTube, in fact. And they had, uh, his family had an ice chest and they fill it up with ice water. And I was like, this isn't going to work. There is no way in hell that this is going to work. Well, I gave it a try one day. And doggone it, it worked. It was amazing. You stick your head into the uh, bucket of ice, uh, hold it in there for up to 10 seconds, and it works. It brings you out of the tachycardia. Now, the water has to be super, super cold. So the ice water needs to be so cold, in fact, it will blow your mind, literally and figuratively. Okay, so uh, what, I, what I do is I take a big red bowl that I have up in my kitchen. I fill it up with ice water. I don't have a big ice chest to do this in. And I submerge the ice water up to my ears. I normally count up to 10 seconds. I like to have someone there with me just in case, in case I ever pass out. Can you imagine after making it through eight open heart surgeries, my obituary would say drowned in a bowl of water? I mean, that would be so apropos. It'd be hilarious. But anyways, uh, I was like, no, no, no. So, uh, you know, that was tiresome. And the first time I iced myself two days ago, I had to uh, do the ice water, which worked. Like eight seconds in it pulled me right out. And I was like, well, that's great. Sitting there enjoying myself. About five minutes later, my heart's irritable after a tachycardia. It went right back in. 15 minutes, I was like, I'm going to have to ice myself again, which is not fun. And uh, that's when I decided, well, you know what? I really wonder what would happen if I got a medium-sized Ziploc bag and I stuck it in this big bowl of water and I filled it up with ice and water and then placed it on my face. I was like, let me just try this. So that's what I did in this video, is I placed it directly on my face, on my eyeballs, up to my head, and let me tell you what, it felt like someone had a jackhammer and they put it on my face. I mean, it was painful. <laughs> it was painful, but it worked. In five seconds, it brought me out. Five seconds, it brought me out of that tachycardia. And you're gonna see this. Now, I edited the video so you don't see me screaming in agony. It was quite uh, hilarious when I rewatched it, but uh, if you have anybody in your family, if you, I highly recommend that you do this. Uh, use ice water. You can submerge your face in it. 
But if you don't want to do that, just in case you don't want to drown in the ice water by yourself, get a Ziploc bag, fill it up with uh, chopped ice, crushed ice, uh, with water as well, and then place it directly on your face for 20 seconds, 10 to 20 seconds, uh, or until your heart resets. And it needs to be super freezing cold, okay? So make sure you do that, follow the video, and uh, let's get out of these tachycardias without having to get adenosine. All right, guys, I'm going to drop off here and let you guys watch the video. Thanks. Cheers. I'm going to try to, instead of putting my face in the ice water, I'm going to try to put a bag of ice on my face with water in it. Let's see if I can get out of my tachycardia. At the moment, I'm clocking 131. Sixty-five. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, that hurt. That, that that was painful. It took about five seconds, and it worked. Found a new way to get out of arrhythmias. Woohoo! All right.